Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given rational equation. And here is the very first step. Let's focus on this part at the denominator. And I have copied it down over here on the right hand side. Let's focus on this thing, one over four, which could be easily written as one over two square, isn't it? And likewise, one over x squared could be written as one over x and then power two. Now this represents the difference of two squares. So therefore, we are going to be using this fact. A squared minus B squared could be written as A minus B times A plus B. In our case, this is our A and this is our B. Let's go ahead and expand this thing okay we can factor this one out we can write this one as 1 over 2 minus 1 over x times 1 over 2 plus 1 over x now let's focus back on your, our original equation we can write the top part same okay we are not going to mess with the top part 1 over 2 plus 1 over x divided by this denominator part this one we have just factored that one out we're gonna write its factors which are 1 over 2 minus 1 over x times 1 over 2 plus 1 over x and everything equals to 3 and now as we can see that this top part is same as this part so we can easily cancel that one out so we are ended up with on the top is going to be just simply 1 divided by 1 over 2 minus 1 over x equals to 3. And now let's focus again on the denominator part, 1 over 2 minus 1 over x. I have just copied it down on the right hand side. Let's go ahead and subtract these two fractions. Let me show you an easy way to subtract them. Let's do the crisscross, cross multiplication, crisscross, this and that. So that is going to give us, when we multiply this way, 1 time x is going to be 1x. And then whatever sign this one is just leave it there and then we're going to multiply 1 times 2 the other way around it's going to be 2 divided by we are going to multiply these denominator 2 times x let's go ahead and multiply them out so that is going to give us 2x all right so when we simplify this thing that is our answer so on this one on the left hand side this fraction could be written as 1 divided by and we know that we just figured out this bottom part over here the denominator x minus 2 over 2x let's go ahead and replace that one so I can put down x minus 2 divided by 2x equals to 3. Now let's look at this left hand side we have a 1 over this fraction so we are going to use this rule when we have a 1 over this fraction c over d then this bottom part gets flipped over that becomes d over c that means this could be written as this thing as 2x over x minus 2 equals to 3 and since we are running out of space on the left hand side I have copied down this part over here on this side so let's go ahead and simplify this one over here let me just put since we have a fraction on the left hand side I can make 3 as a fraction as well by just putting a 1 underneath and now we can simplify by crisscross method let's cross multiply that's the easiest way so when we multiply 2x times 1 that is going to give us 2x equals to let's 
cross multiply the other way around this time this is going to give us when we multiply 3 times x is going to be a 3x and 3 times negative 2 is going to be negative 6. And now we can easily solve for x. Let's move this 2x on the right hand side and this negative 6 on the left hand side. So we will end up with the, this negative 6 is going to become positive 6 and on the right hand side we're going to have a 3x minus 2x so that means we are going to have x equal to 6 value. And here is our solution x equal to 6 and that's our answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.